All righty. Well, welcome everybody to our solution vision and strategy presentation this morning. I have the great pleasure of introducing you to three members of our senior product organization leadership team who will be talking to you about some major, some sweeping changes that have been made to the product organization at Blackboard over the last year since our last conference. And uh, you may already have seen some evidence of this impact, but uh, to uh, as far as um, more information and uh, more, I, I guess more news about more updates to more products, I have um, the pleasure of introducing you to Nina Nidell and Jerry Nidell, who will explain that they are not indeed siblings or married, but who are, and uh, Sudeep Dada, who are going to walk you through today's presentation and talk about how this, uh, the changes to the product organization are going to cause you to see a lot of movement, a lot of change in uh, donor management and in uh, innovation in our uh, uh, product area. So with no further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Nina and Jerry. All right. Well, welcome to the party that is day two of BB Dev Days, everyone. Hope everyone had an amazing day one full of new insights, new ideas, new connections, new things to try. That's why we do this. That's why we're here. Uh, very excited to have you all joining us again. I'm Jerry Needell. I head up uh, FinTech and Innovation for Blackbaud. That includes our approach to corporate innovation, but also um, our payments business, as well as our financials and grant making products. So I'm lucky to work with an amazing team uh, across all of those. Um, and uh, really excited uh, today, as, as Catherine mentioned, uh, this, we have another Needell here. This is literally the first time in my life I've ever come across another Needell that I was not related to. Um, and so when Nina Gupta Nidell showed up at Blackbot just a few months ago, it brought me great joy. And today is a, is a big day for me because it is officially uh, the first time ever sharing a stage for me with another Nidell that I'm not related to. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Nina and she can talk through uh, her role and uh, the agenda for this morning. Thank you, Jerry. And I will say for fans of Saturday morning cartoons from many, many years ago, um, Jerry and I are just like the Wonder Twins. So we have like Wonder Twin powers activate. And that is what um, I am so thrilled to, uh, to be joining all of you, to be joining Jerry and Sudeep and Catherine on the stage. Um, and so as introduction, I am the newbie. Uh, thank you for the very, very warm welcome. Uh, it has been such a pleasure meeting so many of you, and I look forward to meeting many, many more of you uh, in person and in these virtual moments. And so from my um, standpoint, as the, new, as the new kid on the block, um, you know, I'll just say that technology is a defining moment uh, with all the change that so many of us are embracing, acclimating to just many, many ways that we are making uh, everything that we try to work on so much better, especially for social impact. And BlackBot was not my introduction to the uh, technology for social impact, but certainly um, joining the team really gives me just the, you know, the, the space and the feeling that we are here to accomplish so many great things together. And what I'm also very thrilled about um, when Catherine and, and Heather had described that the demographics of our developer and part partner community were also evolving. Um, it's the, you know, I, I hope that I get these stats right, but 55% of our audience identifies as women. 60% um, are low code or business intelligence analysts or advanced users, but maybe not professional developers. And I feel that that is just evolving our, our landscape as well. So with that, I'm gonna applaud all of you first and I feel it's a welcome difference from that first computer science course from so many, many moons ago. But thank you for this opportunity to just tell you about donor management. I head up that pillar. Um, I'll describe it in greater detail. And now I will uh, pass it off to Sudeep to describe our overarching organization. 
Thank you, Nina. Uh, I am Sudeep Datta. I head up products for Blackboard. Um, so if you don't like anything about the product, you know who to blame. Um, happy to be here. Uh, as they say, um, a product is only good as good as a community. So thanks for being a great community for Blackboard and for social good in general. So we are going to cover first some of the uh, organizational and governance changes that we introduced over the last one year or so. But prior to that, let me cover in the next slide uh, the organization that we all belong to, Nina, Jerry, and myself. So we are part of Blackboard's Research, Deliver, and Operate uh, organization, abbreviated as R RDO. A lot of people even internally within Blackboard often ask, like, what is RDO, right? So we do research, of course, and you will hear from Jerry what we are researching on in the whole area of generative AI, for example. We deliver software, and last but not the least, because we deliver software on-prem as well as on cloud, we operate them, operate them for the absolute non-negotiables like security and, uh, and uh, performance monitoring, et cetera. Next slide. So my last uh, BB Dev uh, day was uh, soon after I joined, uh, literally within 10 days of my joining last year. And um, it, it was quite an experience. Uh, so how have we progressed since that time? Uh, what we focused on over the last one year, of course, we focused on the product side and you must have seen uh, the enhancements come out uh, of the products. But in terms of um, organization, we focused on uh, organizing around agility, predictability, and consistency. How do we drive agility? How do we drive predictability? And how do we drive consistency? The underpinning of any successful product is, is a vision, a good governance mechanism, and last but not the least, a great organization. So over the last one year, we built out the organization. Uh, we put governance in place to drive agility, predictability, and consistency. In terms of agility, we adopted SAFE. For those who are familiar uh, with SAFE, you already uh, know the benefits. Uh, SAFE uh, stands for Scalable Agile Framework. Most of our products now have adopted SAFE uh, and do quarterly plannings, what we call PI plannings, to drive the predictability, right? Almost 90% of the features that are planned during a quarter are delivered within 37 days of that PI cycle or the quarter. Um, so, um, uh, we, we, we are driving that predictability. And last but not the least, consistency. I know there are a uh, lot of heartbreaks here around the modernization of uh, AFE and RE, for example. So we need that consistency and the constancy of vision. That, that's what I call that we, we need to stay put, we need to stay on course uh, on, on that vision, whatever it is, whether it is the modernization, whether it is uh, the application of intelligence across the board. And the way we have organized uh, over the last one year is we broke the whole portfolio into smaller, what we call pillars, so that we have that focus to drive that agility, predictability, and consistency. So I'm not going to read through every uh, uh, points on that uh, timeline. But basically, internally, what we call Project Allegro, <laughs> Allegro, um, uh, the, 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 uh, the musical term, really, um, uh, that we kicked off uh, in March of 2022. And by the summer of 2022, we identified how are we going to organize the, what we call the pillars and put leaders in place to drive those pillars, to lead those pillars. Next slide, please. So talking of leaders, um, we have um, almost 120 years of ex cumulative experience uh, across the leadership. And uh, the way we organize the product pillars is uh, based on like 
what are the what are the usage dynamics what is the buying and usage dynamics of every product right so um, donor management for example is um, the area that includes all the crm products like uh, re nxt all through blackboard crm etap right and donor, uh, don't, no donor management is complete without a good interface, which is the consumer and the donor engagement area, right? Um, uh, where we engage with the donors, where we raise money on behalf of, of, of our customers. And that's where all the online donation forms reside, um, uh, Luminate Online, uh, Just Giving for those in the UK. Those are the products that fall under consumer and donor engagement. Uh, the fintech and innovation, uh, it's, it's uh, of course, financial edge, uh, NXT, the payment services, grant making, uh, all fall, fall, fall under fintech. And we have clubbed innovation along with the uh, uh, fintech area because there is a lot of innovation happening in that area. Uh, in particular, though, the role of Jerry, who heads uh, fintech and innovation, is more uh, horizontal in terms of innovation. Uh, education, um, it's student management, enrollment management, tuition and billing management. I'm going to, it's, it's everything related to um, education, uh, spe especially K-12 education. Uh, corporate impact, that's where our acquisition of EverFi lies along with your cause, um, uh, where uh, we, we uh, enable uh, CSR and ESG um, activities within uh, the the corporations and um, everything that you see here is supported by your platforms team, uh, which is a horizontal platform, and that's where you see the fruits of things like the Sky APIs, right, and the Sky UX, because we want to develop the platform components in one common place and have those consumed by all the other pillars. So just calling out the names uh, of the leaders, donor management is led by Nina Needle. Uh, she is here to share more about donor management after my presentation. Graham Port, uh, based out of the UK, is the head of consumer and donor engagement. Jerry Needle, who is uh, here, uh, heads the FinTech and innovation pillar. Mark Davis um, heads um, the education pillar. Um, Dan Grace heads corporate impact. And last but not the least, Andy Schneider heads platform analytics and design, uh, which supports all the pillars. So uh, when we talk about pillars, often it may give an impression that, okay, uh, there are uh, these pillars, are they going to uh, cause silos, right? Um, the, I, can, I can humbly uh, say that Blackboard is the, the only uh, software provider out there who basically breaks these silos, right? If we think of uh, software for impact, there are system of records, which are essentially where you store your data, uh, system of engagement, where you engage with your donors. And um, there is a lot of innovation in the channels uh, that you engage with donors with. Um, uh, system of intelligence, where the data is not adequate just to store and, and view, but uh, uh, it, it, the data needs to be gleaned for insights and more so actionable insights so that they can be fed into the system of productivity, right? To act on the data um, for outreach. So we are possibly the only software provider out there to have a balanced portfolio across system of record, system of engagement, system of intelligence, and system of productivity. And going into the next slide, what we uh, show here is we, have a belief, we have a conviction that all these systems are A, important and imperative in the operation of nonprofits, and B, these systems need to interoperate and integrate and work in an integrated fashion. For example, fundraising and donor management is all about growing revenue with fundraising, major gifts, and peer-to-peer -peer events, right? The, 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 the contribution from there is 
fed into our financial management system where we have like fund accounting, increased efficiency with GL and accounting designed for the nonprofit specifically. Grant management, how we disperse the funds. And last but not the least, online giving the whole thing, the, the, the data that's collected as a part of this process is fed back to the top of the funnel in terms of online giving where we maximize every gift with intelligent capabilities and integrated payments. The, our vision is that all these components need to work together. The system of engagement, which is online giving, system of records, which is the donor management platform, the system of intelligence, which is prospect insights, plus more coming in the form of uh, artificial intelligence and system of productivity, right? Um, they all need to work in an integrated fashion uh, to, to for uh, generating the maximum benefit and the outcome for our customers who are the nonprofits. Now, having said that, uh, let's stay on the slide for a moment. Uh, I don't want to give an impression here that it's a closed system, right? We, of course, want all these systems to work interoperably uh, with each other. Um, uh, and uh, But at the same time, it's an open system because we do encourage our partners to use the Sky APIs so that they can overlay the APIs on any of these systems. So for example, if you are building your own donation forms, you can overlay the donation forms using Sky APIs on our CRM software, right? If you want to integrate our donation forms with other CRM software, that's also possible because we are designing in an open uh, manner. So while we are purpose-built, while we want to reduce the time to value for our customers, it is also important to mention that we are open. We are open at every single layer. Uh, every quarter, we get a lot of requests for enhancing our APIs, and we use the agile uh, engineering methodology to, to cater to those requests. So um, it's, it's very important to mention that while we are purpose-built, we are open at the same time. Next slide, please. So sometimes the for when we serve verticals, the solution, the total solution needs to span across these pillars. And that's where the pillars are not really walled gardens, but actually um, uh, the areas or disciplines that interoperate with each other. And a classic example is higher education, right? Where you see um, not only education management, but financial management, donor management, online giving coming together uh, to uh, deliver the solution for our higher education vertical. And the special call out there is, uh, for example, Alma Base we use for alumni engagement. As I mentioned, that it is not um, sufficient to have a solution with uh, Blackboard components only. Um, the community that's out here, the partner community that uh, exists out here is very much a part and parcel of our total solution. And Alma Base is a classic example uh, of that. So that's our vision. Um, basically, uh, we want to provide uh, the, the best software out there for the social good community. Um, we want to be comprehensive, but comprehensiveness shouldn't lead to a closed solution. Uh, we want to be open at every single layer uh, to encourage partners, low-code developers, no-code developers to contribute to our solution. And with that, uh, let me pass it to Nina to cover the donor management uh, pillar. Thank you, Sudeep. So I have the distinct pleasure of uh, just describing the vision strategy and how we're changing donor management in so many ways. And those changes are actually happening right now. But if I step back, the more important part of what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to capture the sparks of innovation. And I truly believe that sparks of innovation start with everybody who is part of this particular uh, virtual session. It's with everybody at Blackboard and the different ways that we come to a solution of how we're going to serve our, our broader community. And it is a, the world at large because technology for social impact and for social good, 
those sparks we need more and more often, and we need to execute in better ways. So our pillar is now focused on how do we enhance our products, but how do we also provide you with the APIs so that we can make sure that there is innovation at speed and at the right scale and security and all the things that we have to we have to be concerned about so that we provide quality products to you know to the ecosystem that truly needs uh, what we're trying to accomplish. Next slide. So I see our pillar focus uh, along three strategic paths. Um, and I'm going to start with with a uh, speed for product velocity. So for the physics aficionados in the in the crowd, um, velocity is speed in a given direction. And I love this definition because it describes how I see innovation powering our direction in achieving all things good for social impact. Um, these sparks have to come to life and it includes the ability to have decision velocity, but it also means development velocity. But more importantly, I see this as success outcomes. We need velocity for how we are going to drive success for the ecosystem that so desperately needs to have us uh, in delivering the best things. So, and then I'll also say that, you know, we cannot forget that we live on platforms and products and architectures that require velocity in hardening our systems as well, um, because the stronger that we are and that our products are, the less we have to worry about things that, uh, that we, you know, that we just don't, that don't really rely on innovation. It's, it's just a good practice for us. For the ecosystem, which all of you are a part of, our customers are part of that ecosystem. It is a broad, broad base that first and foremost, the great ideas coming from you should come to life as Sudeep mentioned with consistency, with straightforward sort of constancy of platform. Um, and it should not be a struggle. Uh, and so I will say, from my experience, I have incredible empathy for developers who are forced to adjust to a rigid platform. Uh, Sudeep's description of the open platform that we're trying to achieve is incredibly important here. And if I were to step back, I'll just describe that I was previously at Classy, which competes in this space. And there, and there we were part of a larger ecosystem and we had to play on someone else's CRM and integrating our solutions on that CRM, it was a strain. So that experience, if I flip myself around in this role, it truly helps me appreciate how we can improve how much um, there is that we can make simpler. And now that I'm on this side of the house, uh, you know, heading up donor management, that experience actually is something that we are thinking about, talking about, you know, ideas that I can bring to say, why don't we do it this way? So we overall need to make development easier and straightforward with low code solutions that really help uh, all of you and all of our ecosystem. For data, I could speak about data over and over and over again, because what I knew about Blackboard even before I joined all of you Blackbot is a powerhouse of data. Uh, nobody has the domain breadth and, and depth of expertise. And really it's because, you know, I may have joined recently, but I have the, but Blackbot has a distinction of having pioneered the donor management data space 40 years ago. And that experience, you know, that rigor that Blackbot brings to all of us, you know, like, Blackbot created the role at nonprofit organizations that is the database manager, um, that many of you are actually leaders in your organizations. So fulfilling and working and evolving that with you to the next level is really important for us. We're proud of this history and we're incredibly honored to help you with your work, but we'd also like to make sure that we are always evolving with you and for you. So with that, our, our data, our APIs, they all go into what is going to be the next generation of donor management solutions. And tomorrow may look nothing like today and we're gonna get there together. Next slide, Catherine, please, thank you. So. Uh, anyone who's read uh, a really great book by Jim Collins, you know, the, the I, I will not take credit for the fly, flywheel effect, but we are powering our flywheel effect. Um, we have the ability to drive that momentum of that effect together. 
With incremental wins a built across the pillar that Sudip has mentioned, and with the right strategy and execution, we are gaining momentum slowly. Some days it feels slower than others, but actually if we step out, it's this continued growth and improvement that's really going to help us sort of drive so much together. And it's that initial power that we're putting into the system that is really going to power us in faster and better ways. So I'm gonna quickly just cover what is powering the flywheel effect. And this is not, uh, right now, it may be these four areas and we're gonna keep adding to them. Jerry is definitely gonna be describing ways that all these new technologies and ideas that are just coming at us from everywhere, how BlackBot is embracing you know, that to be a part of our flywheel effect. But from my standpoint for donor management, innovation agility or innovation velocity, very, very important because fueling innovation means anticipating, adapting, and changing to customer needs. Also, our market is evolving because where nonprofit organizations or healthcare or higher ed may have been even a decade ago, that's not where we live today. Like all of you are working on those sparks that are going to really bring nonprofits and healthcare and higher ed to the level that you know other industries enjoy. And so those are techno technological developments that we are going to also bring into the flywheel. And it requires, as I said, decision velocity uh, for new and better solutions and to make sure that we deliver success outcomes for our customers. Because in the end, we're not developing these things for ourselves, but really to make our ecosystem more productive and to really drive more, more social impact together. For our expanded API support, um, we could never develop all the products that we want to bring to life. You know, that really bringing the APIs to you drives that momentum that we are, that we're using to build better, stronger, and faster. Uh, we want to, to ensure that developers can extend, customize, and contribute to capabilities that do drive that momentum. And it's the same actually for, for a data rich platform. As I mentioned, Blackbot is the industry leader. I think that is undisputed. And you know, we, you know, we have the ability to continue capturing and continue fortifying what that means to make sure that you're able to leverage this foundation for innovation. And Jerry will describe that, as I mentioned, of just how much value we will be driving together, even with something that's very new. And it all starts with data. And I'd be remiss then if I didn't highlight, it's not always about the bits and bytes of code. I understand that. Um, it's about highlighting the importance of our community um, in driving this momentum. We are better for the feedback, uh, like my team, better for the feedback that you provide us. Um, and it's incumbent on us to provide you with the ways that we're connecting and sharing and, and learning. Um, our product update briefings, town halls, product advisory groups, um, so many of the other resources, BB Dev Days, these are all ways that we can share what our current progress is, share how we are learning from you and getting stronger. And then we also need to make sure that this is a feedback loop that you help us actually fuel that flywheel together. So um, with that, would love, love, love to actually continue learning. And if there are ideas, please, those are sparks. We need to capture those um, because they do actually power us together. So top of mind, um, there are so many things uh, that I could highlight here. And the, the pubs were part of, uh, right when I was joining, I think our um, product updates were sort of coming to life. And then they were shared with uh, audience members, but also the broader uh, community of customers. Uh, we just completed a town hall. So many, many kudos to our product managers, our marketing team members, customer success, everybody that brings these moments of sharing to life and this knowledge sharing is super incredibly important to us. So I'm not going to read the testimonials, but what I will say that a testimonial is only just an inspiration for us. It is our spark to continue making things better as quickly as we can. It's also our spark to say that it validates, you know, your, your testimonial, your feedback validates not only what we're doing well, but also what we have to improve on because that is probably sometimes more important for a product team because we certainly don't want to keep recreating what we feel uh, should already be in the market and helping everybody in, in the social good space.
So we showcased uh, the town hall, I forgot to mention, was for RENXT. And it's you know just one incredible product in our portfolio. We have four, as Sudeep has shown you. And on the BlackBot CRM side, you know, I, I want to just say that, you know, what I love about the pillar is that each product has its own personality and its own areas of improvement and all the things that where we learn from one product, we can actually leverage into the next one. Um, from my perspective, it is a moment for me to step back, scan our product landscape, not just in the donor management pillar, but also what Jerry and Mark and Andy and Graham are doing, because in the end, our customers buy a whole product solution. They don't necessarily see that, well, Nina is in part in donor management. I would love them to know me, but they, they do see us as a whole solution. Um, so one area that I knew we needed to prioritize and really understand what our, our team is actually bringing to, to our market is uh, how do we just become modern? And what does it mean to be modern on BBCRM? So with that, just bringing a modern UI uh, or UX and AI is actually some way for us to have that force multiplier. It's that spark that we know we have to bring to, to all of you. And then all of you with the great ideas that you have are going to bring to our, our, larger, uh, our larger team. So it's important how we think about our customers. So the situation is very simple and all of you are far more um, aware of this than I am. Uh, our customers need a user experience that is relevant to the market, that is gonna help them be uh, extremely fast and make sure that we are meeting the challenge of acceleration with the user experience on BBCRM, more APIs on BBCRM. That is how we intend to solve this. And certainly as we gather those inputs across our team, then we will, you know, we'll make sure that we are bringing those ideas to you and then achieve great things with you. All right. Gary, I'm passing it off to you. All right, thank you, Nina. Uh, hi, everyone, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm Jerry Needell. I have the privilege of looking over uh, a variety of things for BlackBod, but one of my uh, passion areas happens to be innovation, um, which includes amazing events like today. Um, and you know, before I go any further, I just want to give a shout out to Heather McLean and uh, Catherine Hall for their leadership of this event and bringing all of us together. It's a ton of work that goes into this and, you know, hugely appreciate them and the broader uh, BlackBot team that pulls this together. So thank you guys. Um, I'm going to cover three main things. Uh, first is just our approach to innovation at BlackBot. Second is um, a, a real world, real time example focused on artificial intelligence, which is, I believe, top of mind for pretty much everyone. Um, and then lastly, most importantly, how all of you can join us on our AI innovation journey. Um, so if we jump to the next slide. So uh, about a year ago, we stood up a small central um, innovation team and you know, with a very clear, simple mission, which was accelerating the pace of innovation for the social good sector and, and for BlackBot. And we take a very balanced approach to innovation. It's, and by that, I mean, we focus equally on internal innovation, things we build, and external innovation, things that we can harness from the outside that are built by other amazing teams and we can bring to bear for our customers, our partners, and, and the broader sector. On the internal side, we're very focused on increasing our overall innovation output and our approach to that is all about taking our 3,000 employees at BlackBot and turning them into an army of innovators, giving them the space, the capability, the systems to go out and find and incubate the next big thing. On the external side, it's all about better harnessing other things built outside of our walls. And our approach there is sort of twofold. One is continue to scale and grow these existing outposts like this amazing developer community, uh, our BlackBot startup program, things like that. But also to challenge ourselves to become great at new collaboration models that we either haven't done before or we haven't done in a while or maybe we're not good at. And so those two things are are sort of the core of our focus. And 
you know, we're extremely excited with the results we've, we've seen to date. We've got a ton of confidence. We'll continue to see impact here. Just a couple of quick examples. Just one in innovation that's been built internally has already driven in a very short period of time over $100 million in savings for our customers. This community that all of us are part of is on the verge of breaking 10,000 developers registered on our Sky Developer Portal, which is absolutely mind-blowing when you consider where we were just a few years ago, it was in the hundreds. So thank you to all for going on that journey with us. Um, and a number of other great things happening, but if you go, go to the next slide, um, I wanted to bring this to life a little bit with a, with a real world, real time example. So I think we all pretty aware of this situation. Absolutely wild and tremendous opportunity has existed for a while for social impact orgs to use artificial intelligence to improve operations, finances, et cetera. That has only accelerated with chat GPT and generative AI. It's only getting faster. It's only getting bigger as an opportunity. At the same time, the risk and the unknowns are getting bigger. And so the challenge from a black bot innovation perspective was how can we help our customers uh, best get set up for success with artificial intelligence, recognizing sort of the broader situation. What can we bring to bear from BlackBot? You know, things like our, uh, you know, our philanthropic database, our history in AI, our system of record expertise, and our understanding that social good is different. Um, how can we put those all together in a way that, that helps our customers? And so I've got a feeling I'm not the only one trying to help uh, organizations navigate this topic. So I uh, actually wanted to just do a quick poll to understand where you are all at with uh, artificial intelligence. So if you just pop this in real quick, uh, it'd be good to see where everyone is within this audience. And then we'll jump into where we landed on our approach. So a lot of people interested in learning. All right. So right now it's a lot of self-directed, some bosses getting involved, some experts in the room. All right. So we're gonna, We'll see where this sort of lands. Maybe Catherine, if you could just post into the chat later or, or Heather, where this ends up landing, uh, we'll keep rolling in the interest of time. But it looks like there's a lot of people who wanna learn. And that's great because BlackBot landed on an approach um, which aligns with that, which is we wanna provide an easy, safe way for social good customers to learn about, to test and harness artificial intelligence. And for us, that starts with a continued focus on the foundation of the system of records. That's where all the data that's gonna be leveraged by artificial intelligence starts. We've been doing that for 40 years, providing the operating systems that social good organizations use. That remains the focus. In addition, we'll continue to expand our existing artificial intelligence capabilities around new insights, things like prospect insights, things that bring new information, help you better harness the data, uh, turning the systems of record into systems of intelligence. So we will be expanding our investments in that area. And then with the rise of ChatGPT and generative AI, it provides this whole new opportunity to take faster instant action on uh, those insights. And in essence, turn the systems of record into systems of productivity. And that's where we'll be adding new features, both built directly by BlackBot, as well as integrating partners into that. But most importantly, and to be super clear, this is not just about the technology. BlackBot's approach believes that this all has to be underpinned with best practice education, both from BlackBot, but also from all of our customers and partners to each other in this fast moving new space. And most importantly, high quality data. There's never been a moment in time where the whole garbage in, garbage out uh, saying has been more important. And again, that all starts with the system of record piece. So if we go to the next slide, 
just double clicking on this, from an innovation focus, we've honed in on two primary areas. One is expanding intelligence, and second is adding productivity. And similar to what I mentioned before around our overall innovation approach, it will be balanced between internal and external approaches. From an external perspective, things that we're doing include opening up off the grid. Many of you have heard about that over the past 24 hours. We will be including partners, developers, customers, as well as all BlackBot employees in that in July. Uh, we have an AI-focused cohort in our next Social Good Startup program. We've, we're working on a number of partnerships with emerging AI players. Great example is Momentum, uh, who actually won our, our December BlackBot Startup program. Uh, we're already working with them to integrate in features uh, around generative AI into our NXT, helping to recommend and automate next steps for fundraisers. New capabilities will be expanding current AI investments in prospect research and online giving and working to add a variety of new AI features across the entire portfolio, fundraising, education, corporate impact. Um, if you go to the next slide. Uh, just a quick example of prospect insights. This has been an ongoing investment area for the company. Uh, again, sort of in this area of systems of intelligence capabilities that are already in market, helping customers make sense of the data. Many of you are using this. Love this quote from Courtney at Fort Collins Habitat of, of, for Humanity. Was able to secure a larger ask than she ever thought possible based off of information and new insights from Prospect Insights. And then the next slide gets at Examples of where we're going of adding new generative AI capabilities that increase customer productivity. So again, taking the data, the high quality data from system of record, pulling that into our systems of intelligence, into new insights that then come into a system of productivity that automatically craft the emails, allow you to customize that and get to action faster. Uh, we're working on a variety of features on uh, in this area across all of the portfolio from peer to peer to corporate corporates to education. And lastly, um, and what I want to hit on is this opportunity for all of you, if we go to the next slide, on how you can join us on this innovation AI journey. Uh, number one is applying for innovation grants. So get your video in uh, for the pitch before noon tomorrow. Vote if you're not submitting a video on those innovation grants. Those are things that will be given back to the community. Um, we will please also join off the grid July 18th to 20th, either bring your team or join a team. Again, customers, partners, developers, and black bot employees with a focus on AI. Um, and then lastly, uh, at, at the core, one of the most important things from an artificial intelligence perspective is data privacy and responsible and ethical AI. And we'll have some of the uh, leading experts at BlackBot talking about that tomorrow on the main stage. I encourage you all to join that, um, as well as follow on education we'll be doing around that on an ongoing basis. Because again, the combination of high quality data and then the responsible, accessible kind of approaches are what's going to make social good organizations successful in the way they need to be with artificial intelligence and that that's where we're focused and so with that i'm going to turn it back over to nina to introduce the keynote speaker and we'll uh move on to the, to the keynote